Welcome all. Today we are going to start with uh, module 2 that is uh, looping statements. So far we have looked into sequential statements and uh, selection statements or statements that, that will be executed on a certain condition. Uh, these statements also will be based on certain conditions but uh, here you, if you want to repeat a statement we will be using these looping statements. Now let's look into it in detail. Now what are looping statements? These are also known as iterative statements. It allows us to execute a statement or a group of statements multiple number of times. This, this uh, process of repetition is called uh, iteration and uh, this is the flow diagram The when it will be approached with a condition. If the condition is true, a set of uh, code, a conditional code will be fulfilled and and again uh, it will go it will repeat again by going back to the condition if if it's true uh, otherwise if the condition is false it will go for the next statement here if, if you want to execute one statement number of times we use these looping statements now there are two types of loops entry control loops and exit control loops in the name itself it indicates uh, in entry control loop we have to check the condition first before entering the loop and uh, there are two types of entry control loops that are for loop and while loop and exit control loop is the exact opposite the condition will be checked at the last and uh, these, this condition and the loop here is do while loop in exit control loop so this is the loops that we will be looking into in this module which is for loops, while loops, do while loops, nested loops for loop statements, it is a repetition control structure that allows you to efficiently write a loop that needs to execute a specific number of times. Now this is the uh, syntax of a for loop for initialization, condition, increment or decrement, this is the body of the loop. Now in case of if statement, if the condition is fulfilled, we will enter the if body right. Now in for loops case, when we declare a variable, say int a, that time when we declare it, it allocates a space in memory. Just like that, we have to allocate the space for the loop in that part for the process that we call, what we call is initialization. Here we have to initialize the first loop that we are going to enter into. That is the, say, the 0th loop since uh, if it's for us it's 1 to 4 for the computer it will be 0 to 3 so this will be 0 loop and uh, to enter this loop we'll be checking the condition if the condition is true we will uh, execute a set of statements inside the body of the loop after the body of the loop is executed now we have to go to the next loop that means we have to increment 0 by 1 that is the increment decrement part here we will be using postfix increments or decrements that is i plus plus i minus minus if the condition is true then that means this increment part is to is for us to initiate the next loop and again it will check the condition and it will if it's true it will execute a, the uh, set of statements inside the body of the loop and this loop will continue till the condition becomes false this is the format of the for loop like i said before the initialized step is executed first as it is allowed to declare and initialize any loop variable after that the condition is evaluated if the condition is true the body of the loop is executed and after that it uh, jumps to the increment statement so that we can initiate the next loop and the cycle repeats and suppose if the condition becomes like that the uh, looping statements uh, get terminated if the condition is false it won't enter the body of the loop and it won't uh, repeat a cycle so that means it will go for the next statement sequentially like after after we finish one statement, we'll go to the next statement, just like uh, a usual program. If the statement was false, this is the flow diagram of the uh, loop. First is the initialization part, goes to approaches a condition. If it's true, it'll execute the code block. Then it'll increment again, check the condition, and 
if it's true it will again execute the code block if it's false it will go for the next statement now this is the example of a for loop statement here it's a, we include a header file and we use the local declaration using namespace std since we're using input uh, standard input and output devices now this is the for loop uh, execution int a equal to 10 a less than 20 a is equal to a plus 1 or a plus plus now uh, this is our first loop a equal to 10 now since the 10 less than 20 the condition is true it will enter the body of the loop and value of a will be printed 10 then again uh, end is to, is like a slash n it's to it's for us to go to the next line if we want to print uh, statements in uh, line by line we use a uh, slash and or end um, okay now it will go to the increment part but a plus 1 that is 10 plus 11 so a's value will become 11 that is that is initiating it to the next loop now we'll check the condition 11 less than 20 and it's true and it will print value of a is 11 and it will continue till a's value becomes 20 then 20 less than 20 will come and uh, the condition becomes false and the loop becomes terminated now the next statement is a return statement there the program will end here usually we use void for so that we can understand easily here uh, but this is an online compiler where they by default they use the int return type so when we use other than void if you use any other data type we have to mention it with a return statement inside the main function so that it can indicate that the program is running well otherwise if you have just used void the output itself is enough to show that the program is running well next is the while loop statements here just like the for loop the loop iterates while the condition is true this is the syntax for while loop while condition body of the loop and the increment operation is done inside the body of the state itself and it will continue till the condition becomes false here the loop is terminated when the condition becomes false next is the flow diagram which is approached by a condition if it's true it will execute the code block and repeat the cycle if it's false it will go for the next statement sequentially now example of while loop statements yes uh, this is i've used an online compiler to execute this program uh, it's introduced with a header file hash include io stream dot h because we're using input and output uh, stream the standard uh, global declaration then here this is the uh, int a equal to local variable declaration means that means only that function can use so that's what they meant by local variable declaration if it was uh, declared outside the main function it's global if it's declared inside it is local here int a equal to 10 is initialized here and the while loop execution begins 10 less than 20 so the initialization in while loops cases uh, done before we ex before we type the while loop statement so this is the initialization part that is the declaration in a equal to 10 this is the variable 10 less than 20 it's the same way it will uh, it will value of a will be printed here 10 and here the increment part is done inside the body of the loop in while loops case a plus plus after since it's post fix it will its value will be incremented by one after the semicolon so after the semicolon the value becomes 11 and it goes for the condition again uh, 11 less than 20 and it will till 19 it will get printed when it becomes 20 20 less than 20 becomes false and the loop gets terminated and since there is no other statement here the program ends here and this is the output of the program next is a do while statement do while loop statements it is a variant of while loop here it's an exit control loop right so the code of the code block will be executed once at least and at the end it will check the condition and it will continue till the condition becomes false this is the syntax do and the statements here is the body of the do loop and while will be written at the end followed by the semicolon uh, while condition this is the flow diagram of do while loop it will execute the flow code block then it will be approached by the condition if the condition is true it will again execute the code block and the cycle repeats if the condition becomes false it becomes for the 
goes for the next statement. This is the example of a do while loop. And this is the program that I have uh, compiled online. Uh, it's introduced by hash include I have string dot is the header file in global declaration. Next is the main function int equals 10. Uh, do loop uh, execution begins here. It executes the code value of a uh, 10. Then it increments the value 10 plus 1 11. Checks the condition and the cycle repeats till uh, 19. And after it becomes 20, when you check the condition, it becomes false. And since there's no other statement, the pro program terminates that. And uh, this is the output of the program. Uh, that's all for today. I hope you have understood what I have taken today. Thank you.